hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see azure virtual network so you will you know basically get a address space in azure which you can use it for the resource deployment like deploying the virtual machines so you know when you you know create the virtual network you can you know get the uh, address space depending on the uh, network that you would like to create and uh, in that address space we can you know create multiple subnet as you can see in this uh, you know example we can create subnet a and subnet b and then you can deploy the service for example here in this example in the subnet a i have deployed web server and in the subnet b i have deployed the database server so both are in a different subnet in this address space so when you create the uh, virtual machine you will you know create the uh, network interface resource as well where we can assign the private ip address so in this example you can see you know there is dedicated uh, you know uh, network interface for each vm where we can assign the private ip address so using that private ip address we can communicate all the you know virtual machines within the subnet and uh, if you wanted to access that uh, virtual machine from outside in that case you need to have the public ip address and uh, using that public ip address we can connect from outside and if you wanted to access using the private IP address, then you can access it within the Azure using the private IP address. So uh, here we can also use the NSG network security group for the traffic filtering. So if you wanted to give you know, only the specific traffic to be allowed from outside, then you can configure the VM accordingly. For example, if you know you want to only configure the RDP, which is uh, you know you can only allow that port to take the remote desktop. And similarly, like uh, if there is a web server running and you want to allow only the HTTP port 80, and then if you block rest of the uh, you know everything then only the http will work and rest of them will be blocked okay so to create the uh, let's see how we can you know create the virtual machines so you can just go to the virtual machine and click on create as your virtual machine and here you can you know create the new resource group as well or you can choose any existing resource group and you can type the vm name here and i'm just going to use the region which is uh, asia southeast asia and here i can select the image so i'm going to select uh, 2019 data center and here i can you know select the series of, i mean the size so i can just choose and you need to enter the username And here we are allowing the uh, you know RDP 3389 port while deploying the VM itself and click on disk click on networking so this is the section where we are you know creating the virtual network you can just use the uh, default one that suggested by the uh, you know this page itself or you can choose the create new and you can type the name that you would like to 
and the address space and the subnet if you want you can rename as well so for example i can make it and click ok okay and here there is a public ip as well and uh, you can you know update if you want you can update so i'm just going to give the ip and you can update the SKU as well and click on ok and rest of them i've just leave it default and review plus create okay so validation passed let's click on create okay so let's wait for the deployment to be completed you can also separately search for virtual networks and here also if you want you know create a new vnet or the virtual network you can just go ahead and create from here as well and you need to type the vnet name and choose the region where you want to create this vnet and here in the address space you can select the address space or you can you know create the new address space as well and the subnet and then you can just create it okay so the deployment has been completed you can just click on go to resource and here we can see that the status running and we can see that the public ip address and the private ip as well for this pm okay so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next